Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. We are just about to leave the first stage of the game, the Lazarus Station. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Make fun of the fact I was dead. I'm sensitive about it. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Two years? Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid. Raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? Yeah, we had cookies. A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? You know, I have been asking myself that same question since I started this game. Because I really should have left Ash to die. Oh well. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel, after the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? I... took a poopy? I always take a poopy after a hard fight. It's relaxing. Um... Anderson joined the Council. Humanity was offered a spot on the Council. I recommended Captain Anderson for the position. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Counselor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Still, good to know that the human council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. But I was going to have him do right. a Sukoden puzzle. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. All right, so... The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. We leave the Lazarus station to go to another station that looks just like the Lazarus station. Fair enough. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Oh, shut it. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Uh, let's go play with my armor. Casual appearance. No. I am not an 80s punk rocker. I'll stick with that armor. Let's see what kinds of armor I have. Surface Assault Armor, um, Blood Dragon Armor. I like this armor, but he always wears that mask. It's ridiculous. People go, Shepard, you're here? And you sit there and wonder, how do you know it's him? Alright, so helmets, faceplate, what the... Kestrel Armor, System Helmet, Forgoes, Traditional Transparent Visors in favor of a reinforced faceplate. Really? But with the blast shield down, I can't see. How am I supposed to fight? That's just ridiculous looking. Yeah, I think I'll go with nothing for now. Um, that looks nifty. Let's see. Um, 
let's see how much it does. Melee damage by 10, increased weapon damage by 5, and shoot strength by 3. That sounds good. I think for now, at least until I get better pieces of armor, I'm going to be going with the Kestrel, considering I've never used it before. I increase weapon damage, shields damage, melee damage. Oh, that's nice. Some nice bonuses here. Maybe I'll stick with this for a while. Mm. Oh. It's got a belt, even. That's pretty nifty. I am not taking that helmet, though. It's just ridiculous. Let's make him shiny. Um, that looks nifty. Let's see what else. Uh, maybe I'll just go with this. Black is a nice color. I don't know though, that red. It's that one. Oh, that one, no, that one. That is a nifty red. And time to go meet the elusive man. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video a little short so that we can get the entire conversation with the elusive man. You've been watching Mass Effect 2 and tune into the next episode.